cool. Uh, 788 rotated di digits. X is a good number if after rotating each digit by individually by 180 degrees, we get a right number that's di different from X. Each digit must be rotated. We cannot choose to leave it alone. Uh, a number is routed if each digit remains a digit after the rotation. 0, 1, and 8 rotate to themselves. 2 and 5 rotate to 5. Uh, 2 and 5 rotate to each other. 6 and 9 also rotate to each other. And the rest of the numbers do not rotate rotations to any other number and become uh, invalid. Now given a positive n, how many numbers x uh, from uh, how many numbers x from 1 to n are good? Um, they remain unchanged after voting. Do you just rotate each digit in the video? Okay, fine. Um, yeah, so actually, uh, so I would say for this, because this is easy, <laughs> right? Uh, because this is easy uh, and if I was in competition or something, and I see that the n is up to 10,000, then I would just do it brute force, right? Uh, but I think, uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, but I would also say as an optimization, if you get it as an interview or something like that, and you want to talk about it, then you could actually generate them digit one by one. And the only, or oh, sorry, um, I guess technically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so seven by, so one digit at a time. Uh, and then you go already chop off on, you don't have to consider, was it like, three, four, seven, uh, and then you just have to keep an additional variable uh, for kind of the zero and one and eight because they, they need a number that is in the two, five, six, or nine, right? And that's mostly uh, kind of the uh, way. Uh, but yeah, but I'm going to do it before us and then we're going to play around with it. Uh, yeah, and then just, you know, four in i is equal to, was it one? And we count four and then... Uh, and then just if uh, good, mm, okay, yeah, okay. I'm I'm bad at naming things. I'm just gonna go just for now. Uh, good count increment, and then just return count, and then query after the query count, uh, and then now we just have to uh, if if this this number is good, if uh, each digit is. Uh, Okay. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so while x is greater than zero, um, no, no. Y is equal to x ten. Um, usually I have a lookup table, but maybe for this problem it's okay. But yeah. Uh, and then you, uh, you need an additional proof for whether you have. Rotated maybe, uh, so yeah. Okay, so if y is, I think I just do a switch statement. Switch y. Um, okay, if it's good, I do. Uh, uh, so we have case of what is it? One, so I mean zero, one, eight. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, this is okay. So we actually just ignore those. Uh, uh, was it two and f two, five, six, and nine? Uh, then this is good. Uh, so we said rotate zero true because you actually did. You know, you need at least one numbers to change, and this would change that to be true. And then the default case, uh, we would just want to return force. And then maybe just add a. Did I not? Sometimes I'm still in my Python mindset where I don't uh, have to do, have to. Uh, did I do? Where I don't have to. Uh, what should we call it? Why, where's the four come from? <laughs> it's too different. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I forgot to. Uh, yeah, okay. Whoops. Very simple. Uh, you're not wrong. Different variable, but yeah. That's why I got time to be exceeded. And that's how I debug it pretty quickly. Though this is a little bit slow. Hmm. Oh, no. Did I. Uh, dun dun dun.
Hmm. Well, essentially that should be right, but wow. I mean, I, I think I just didn't declare count as zero. That, those are big numbers that are confusing. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe I just watched it a little bit. I think that's very innately to me. Okay. I mean, it's still wrong, but that's okay. Uh, 1 and 10 are not good numbers, but I knew that. Why did I get 7 for 10? That's the... At least it's easy to debug. Uh, do I... Uh, I'm just really bad at not declaring default variables today. I don't know why. My... Uh, huh. Okay, just silly mistake for this problem, but uh, but otherwise it's okay. So yeah, that's submitted. Zero running time. Uh, yeah, relatively confident unless I missed like a low number. Uh, but yeah, when anyway for this one, uh, I think this one is a test in kind of uh, um, kind of complexity analysis uh, or just and in th that case, uh, given n is ten thousand, uh, each number has about five digits at most. Uh, so that means you're only going to do 50,000 operations-ish, or like, you know, on the order of uh, not operations per se, but like, but that's the amount of work, uh, which is technically, given the input number n, then it is uh, n log n uh, is is the, uh, the complexity. Uh, and technically, uh, and yeah, and there's no, uh, all of one extra space, but technically, if you want to say that uh, n is the input size, technically the, uh, the complexity of this is actually n times 2 to the n. Uh, and the reason is because you can represent n with just, uh, um, you know, 8 bits, uh, sorry, 8 bytes. Uh, oh, man, I'm mixing numbers with, yeah, uh, 4 bytes. So, uh, so that's kind of why. Uh, but yeah, so that's why half of this problem is easy. Uh, yeah, I don't know why there's so many downloads, but uh, but it's an okay problem. I mean, it's straightforward, uh, and you could even be trickier if you have to generate them. And like, if the balance was like a hundred thousand, what can you do in it, or a million, right? Then, well, obviously you cannot do this. Well, actually, maybe even you can maybe do a, a million. Maybe it'll be a little tight, um, but but like you know, let's say a hundred million, then you can't, right? So then you would have to kind of generate them digit by digit, and in that case, there'll be a like 7 to the 10 or something like that uh, so maybe that is a little bit tricky to kind of do the math right uh, or like such that uh, you know uh, yeah 282 million maybe that's fast enough but uh, by the way uh, yeah that's what I have for this problem uh, kind of cute it's okay I mean it's like it's all right it, it's it's a problem so, uh, so yeah, that's what I have for this one. Yeah, cool. Uh, a lot of silly mistake on just decorations of stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm too used to other languages, but it, that doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, but switching back and forth from languages may be the reason why. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think one thing that uh, I would put, maybe just make sure the rotation stuff. Uh, because I don't know if you could do else return true, else return false in that way. I think one thing is just to make sure that uh, you have to see 2569 at least once. Uh, and that's what I have here. I mean, I, I obviously don't have a code, so I don't know. But but that's uh, but that's the only place that I see that maybe is a little bit uh, you have to be careful about. Um, but yeah, 